Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of magnets. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Davy had two ring magnets and a thin plastic ring. She slotted them through the wooden stand as shown in this diagram below. Which of the following observations could Davy possibly make? Now, before we look at the options, I would like to go through with you on some concepts using the items here. Let's say I slot both the ring magnets through the wooden stand, just like this. The magnets are either going to attract or repel. When they attract, it means what kind of poles are facing each other. Yes, unlike poles are facing each other, causing them to attract. There is also a chance where the magnets could be repelling. And when they repel, it means the like poles of both magnets are facing each other. So if you realise, when the magnets are repelling, this magnet over here, it is floating and hovering over the other magnet. Now, let's say instead of using this ring magnet here, I use the plastic ring and I slot it through the wooden stand. Is there a chance for the plastic ring to be floating over the ring magnet just like this? No, why no? Plastic is a non-magnetic material. And so, can the plastic ring repel the magnet? No, the plastic ring will naturally be sitting on top of the ring magnet. Remember, only magnets can repel. But specifically, what kind of poles must be facing each other? Yes, only magnets with like poles facing each other can repel. So, I want us to write this down. Only magnets with like Poles facing each other can repel. So what can we learn from this? Since only magnets with like poles facing each other can repel, it means only magnets can float. Can a non-magnetic material, which is the plastic in this case, float. Cannot. Only magnets can float when placed through a stand like this. So let's look at the options now. We can actually eliminate some answers immediately. Remember, only magnets can float. The plastic ring should not be floating. If you look at B, we see this plastic here, which is a non-magnetic material, floating. Is this possible? Nope, we cannot see a plastic ring floating, so we can cross this out. Which other options do we see the plastic ring floating? Yes, D. So this is also not possible. Let's cross this out too. How about A? We have a plastic ring at the bottom and we have two magnets on top of the plastic ring. The plastic is not floating, so that is fine. How about the two magnets? They are not floating as well, means they are not repelling. So what's happening between these two magnets if they are not repelling? Yes, they must be attracting each other. Which means what kind of poles are facing each other? Yes, unlike poles are facing each other, causing them to attract. So let's write this down. Unlike poles facing each other and therefore they are attracting, so A is possible. Now, how about C? We have a magnet on top of the platform. And we have a plastic ring on top of that magnet. The plastic is not floating, so that's fine. But if you look at the other magnet, what is it doing? Yes, floating. And remember, only magnets can float. Why? Because only magnets with light poles facing each other can repel, causing it to float. But some students think this option is wrong because they think, hey, how come the magnet is repelling the plastic? And they assume, nope, this is not possible and they cross this out too. However, they fail to remember that magnetism can pass through 
non-magnetic material. So I want us to write this down. Magnetism can pass through non-magnetic materials. Which means it is actually these two magnets which are repelling each other. And the magnetic force of repulsion can pass through the plastic which is a non-magnetic material. And therefore, the light poles of the two magnets are facing each other, causing them to repel. Therefore, option C is also possible. And the two possible options here are A and C, and therefore, answer is number Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!